Hello everyone. I know you have been following me. Many of you have been following me and I just want to welcome you to the Empowering New Nurses show. I'm Dr. Miriam Smith, DNP. Today our episode continues on bullying in nursing. We know it's not one of the subjects that are really what we want to talk about. However, it has to be addressed. And so because this is an unacceptable uh, behavior it has to be addressed because the nursing profession as you know is such a noble one let me hasten to say we have some extraordinary nurses who are always willing to help and to share with our young nurses as they grow in the profession and so I must say kudo to you however because we want this profession to continue being the way it has been and progressive, we have to address behaviors that are not acceptable. And so, um, today's topic is on how to combat this behavior in nursing, the bullying in nursing. And first of all, I must say that we need to educate the staff, we need to educate individuals that this is disruptive and it's not acceptable and we can go further in detail. We also, they need to develop um, conducts, code of conducts that everyone is aware with on orientation, on orientation, also on onboarding, that these are within the policies that this behavior is not, or these behaviors are not acceptable. And so as we develop that, we have to remember that there are those who are very very i would say shy or scared but they should be taught or they should be told that it is okay if they have concerns to report also they can journal if, if it has become an habitual because bullying has to do with repetitive behavior uh, it has to do it is be re repeated and so it will target individuals that seem to be very quiet or you know think that it's the acceptable behavior because they target many times the young those who are coming on board and don't have any voice or any experience as yet so it's important for the person who's been victimized as it were to be confident that whenever they raise a concern, it's confidential and they will not be ridiculed um, after they have spoken. So these are some of the pointers that are critically important. Everyone needs to know that, that the, they're valued. Um, each person needs to know that he or she is valued and contributing to the profession and courtesy and respect should be given to all. Everyone deserves that. Mankind needs to be told and be reminded that each person needs to be respected and valued. And, and these are valuable concerns. These are valuable attributes that will make an organization thrive. So important for this profession so important that each one knows that each one is important. It's significant to know that sometimes, they have, uh, according to American study by Vasily et al, that, um, who reported in 2009 that med-surge nurses are usually targeted, 23%, and we have critical care, 18%, and 12% emergency room nurses. Operating room nurses like 9% and OB obstetric nurses like 7%. So it, the perpetrators usually, usually be like senior nurses, um, uh, like senior nurses 24%, uh, se nurse managers 14%, nurse in charge 17%, and uh, physician 8%. So Although we're talking about the nurse in nursing at this point, I want you to also know, if I may just say, that uh, other professions also do experience um, bullying. 
school children do experience bullying and these behaviors should be identified so an awareness an awareness should be established so that everyone knows that this is unacceptable if this is reportable and one can lose their job if they decide to take this prof um, take this behavior within the profession whether it is with nursing or other professions so my word to all of us today young nurses older nurses seasoned nurses whatever uh, levels of the levels that might be whether from the leadership from leadership managers general nurses it's important to be aware that this is an unacceptable behavior leadership and managers can collaborate to have the approach that is established in ensuring that this behavior will not be perpetuated this behavior is unacceptable and this behavior is zero tolerance thank you so much my nurses as you treat as you care for your new nurses as you care for your patients because this bullying of course will affect patient care it will affect organizational work and attributes and it definitely will cause retention it will turn over the retention will be lessened so there are so many 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 um, ways in which this can be detrimental to an institution therefore it should not be tolerated zero tolerance nurses let's continue with this noble profession to be compassionate to be kind to be loving and caring not just for the patients but for each other thank you and Miriam Smith DNP if you have any question or if you have suggestions or you just want to make a comment please do that remember to subscribe remember to subscribe and empower new nurses show by your host Miriam Amanda Smith DNP Thank you so much. You can contact me on YouTube, Miriam Amanda Smith, on Instagram, Podcast Mayor, on PodPal, on Facebook, Miriam Smith. Thanks so much. Look forward to seeing you again next episode. Have a great and productive day. Be blessed.